Is quantitative aptitude your biggest problem area in CAT? Shuddh Hindi mein, kya quant mein aapki band baji hui hai? Shuddh Hindi mein isko aur bhi bhoat kuch kehte hai, but camera pe itna hi kafi hai. If you are one such person, this session is for you. In this session, I will be covering three steps that you can take in order to work your way through quant and eventually get a percentile above 95th in the quant section. Check it out. Check it out till the very end. But first things first. Welcome all of you to this session from Pathfinder for me. And these videos aim to help you prepare for different competitive exams, CAT, uh, TISNET and so on. And some of the other competitive exams after 12th as well. So if you are someone who is looking for strategy related videos, you can simply scan this code and reach Pathfinder for me, our channel. Uh, if you are looking for some content related to quantitative aptitude where everything has been explained in a step by step fashion, you can take a look at math, mend your math for quantitative aptitude content. Our batches are starting every week, every 15 days. Enquire for batches on this number. You can just send a WhatsApp and we will be more than happy to help you with our batches. Uh, some attractive offers for CAT 2022 and 2023 at this moment. Just just WhatsApp and we will get back to you on this. Those of you who are looking some for some more help to prepare, we have free live sessions every Friday and every Saturday on YouTube at 6.30 p.m. So we solve CAT level questions or similar questions to CAT level questions in these sessions. And if you wish to join our Telegram group or our WhatsApp group, you are more than welcome to join these groups. So with this, let me welcome you all to this session once again and let us without any further delay, let us get started. Shuru karte hain. Sab se pehle. Umeed hai ki aap is journey ko shuruat karne se pehle, you would have downloaded the syllabus of CAT and if you have not, there is a description in the description box to this video, you will find a link jahan se aap CAT ka syllabus download kar sakte ho. There is no official syllabus which CAT authorities have mentioned anywhere. The syllabus that we have mentioned is based on our experience of the last 20 years with the CAT exam. Then if you want some resources, books, online, web resources, again there is a link given in the description box for resources. You can access some extra resources in terms of books or, or in terms of what kind of reference books you should refer for CAT what kind of online web resources are there for CAT preparation and so on. The next thing you ought to know is that to score a 95th percentile, what, what should you score? I mean, how many, how many questions you need to attempt? What should be your raw score and so on? So here is some uh, compilation. You know, you can find this easily online too. But yeah, I have seen this in the past 4 years, 20 years 20 sorry year 21 year 20 year 19 and year 18 so year 21 or 20 mein cat 2 ghante ka raha hai 2 hours ka raha hai aur before that cat was of 3 hours and 100 questions and therefore you will see the difference in score but essentially if you compare the percentage score required or the raw score required is very similar in each year which tells you that across year the difficulty level of the quantitative aptitude section has remained almost the same so how many questions you can see very well so to score a 99th percentile you needed a 42 score roughly 42 score in 21 40 score in 20 55 and 51 in the previous two years and if you compare this would closely be equivalent to 50% of the total questions. So if there were 34 questions, you needed 17 questions to get a 99th percentile. 17 questions correct. For 95th percentile, you can see that scores are 32, 32, 42 and 43. Again, if you leave out, there is a 
the scores are in more because the number of questions in these two years were more 19 and 18 whereas in year 20 and 22 cat was of two year, two hours that's why you see the difference but essentially you will see that these scores would be close to 40 percent 40 percent of overall questions asked or just more than 40 percent correct similarly in order to score a 90th percentile you needed somewhere around 33.33 percent of the questions correct so if you score roughly 33 percent of the questions correct you are going to land up in the 90th percentile why this is necessary because this will help us target the right number of attempts and the right number of right score mind you quantitative aptitude and data interpretation these are numerical questions here your accuracy should generally be higher if your fundas are clear your accuracy will be higher and therefore you need to know how many questions you have to attempt in 40 minutes or in one hour whatever cat 2022 has in store for you to ye cheez sabse pehle aapko pata honi chahiye to agar aapko 95th percentile ya uske upar lana hai to clear hai you have to score between 40 and 45th percentage of all questions which means if there are 20 questions in cat 2022 you have to get around 8 to 9 of them correct if there are 34 questions in CAT 2022, if I don't know what might be the pattern this year, they might revert to 3 hour pattern again. So if there are 34 questions in CAT 19, uh, CAT 2022, it means that you have to get around 13 or 14 questions correct. And this will be the starting point for your uh, journey with respect to quantitative aptitude. What is target? Kya hai? You are weak in maths and still you want to score a 95th percentile in CAD. So you need to know how many questions you have to attempt. That is the first thing you ought to do. Now let us start with the implementation process. Here are three steps to ace the quantitative aptitude section of CAT. Step 1. Very simple. We call it fundamentals. Give it 45 days. So if you start in June, you should be through by July mid. You should be through with this. Ye timeline ka bhi dhyan rakhna bahut hai. Why? Because everything has to be completed in time limits. You have CAT which is going to be held in November and before that you have to take a certain number of steps. And that is why these timelines are necessary. They are sacrosanct. Try to adhere as far as possible. So what do we mean by basics? Give 9 days to each of these areas, 9 days to arithmetic, 9 days to algebra, 9 days to permutation combination, number theory and 9 days to geometry, mensuration and trigonometry. What do we mean by basics? Let us try to see what basics means and why this has to be told because you are starting out now. Bahut sare log apne mock test wale stage pe honge. और आपका कोई दोस्त दिल्ली में बैठ के या कोई दोस्त मद्रास में बैठ के आपको मैसेज करेगा ये ये क्वेश्चन दे एंड सडनली यू विल बी फेसिंग अ मॉक टेस्ट क्वेश्चंस व्हिच यू कैन नॉट सॉल्व एंड योर मोरल विल गो डाउन डोंट डू एनी अदर क्वेश्चन एक्सेप्ट व्हाट आई एम टेलिंग यू टू डू इफ यू आर अ पाथफाइंडर स्टूडेंट यू शुड डू द बेसिक शीट्स ओनली फेज 1 मॉड्यूल 1 में जितनी शीट्स आपको दी हुई है और जो आपकी बेसिक बुक्स हैं पंडा बुक्स हैं you try to solve questions from those books and those resources only. They are more than sufficient. You know, roughly for every topic, there are 180, 200 questions. Uh, this is a big number. If you solve every question on every topic, that will be more than enough. But first, let us see what we should know from each area. For example, in arithmetic, you should know how to calculate percentage. You should know how to calculate percentage increase and percentage decrease ratio mein aapko ratio calculate karte aana chahiye ki 2 is to 3 ka matlab kya hai average calculate karte aana chahiye you should know the clear relation between work time and distance these are not many relations in arithmetic you know if you look at relations they would hardly be 10 relations around these 10 relations there are a few concepts so take a look at each and every concept and each and every relation of arithmetic Make sure that you know them by heart. First step. Second step, solve at least 
30 to 50 questions on each each topic, each area of arithmetic. Possible. Hai. Arithmetic mein topic kitne hote hain? Ek din percentage karo, ek din average karo, ek din ratio karo, aisa karo ke to aapka 7-8 din mein sab kuch khatam ho jayega. Solve 30-50 questions. And every day as you move ahead, make sure that you solve around 7 to 10 questions of the previous days also. So for example, if you uh, have done percentage on day 1, make sure that you revise around 8 to 10 questions of percentage. So you do 3 to 4 questions of percentage every day after you complete percentage. So 3 to 4 questions should not take you more time, but it will ensure that whatever you have remembered or whatever you have revised will stay with you. Uske baad, yehi cheez aapko algebra, algebra mein karni hai, wahi cheez aapko counting or number theory mein karni hai, exactly wahi cheez aapko geometry or mensuration mein karni hai. Kai baar, geometry or mensuration mein, it seems that things are very tough, especially non-engineers find geometry, mensuration and algebra, especially functions and inequations very tough. Trust me, geometry is totally based on theorems. If you know theorems, you will solve the questions. If you know your formula, you will you will solve the questions. If you don't know theorems, you can't solve questions. So make sure that you commit all the theorems to memory. There won't be more than 15-20 theorems, important theorems in geometry. So if you know these 15-20 important theorems, in addition to the very, very fundamental theorems which have been taught to you in class 7th or 8th or maybe 9th, it will suffice in geometry. And plus, solve basic questions. Solve basic questions of our sheets. If you are a Pathfinder student, then first, jo sheet di jati hai, uske questions solve karo. Now, for example, geometry pe hi, you have close to uh, 60, 60, 120, 180 questions in geometry, basic sheets alone. Then there are questions in e-books, and then there are questions on the testing platform and so on. So, ye sab aapka by default ho hai. Yehi cheez aapko algebra mein karni hai aur aise hi fundamentals ke upar aapko command banani hai in 9 days on permutation combination and number theory these are four areas from which questions appear trust me 40% of cat questions are still based on arithmetic and 40% is what you need to aim for in actual cat so technically theoretically speaking agar aapne sirf arithmetic kar liya to bhi 40% of questions aap kar paoge but ye risk lena bekar hai, aise risk mat lo. Do at least three areas properly. So you might be very weak in one area, but kam se kam teen area to sahi tarike se kar lo, char mein se. Aur basics to charo area ke karne chahiye. Matab, fundamentals of each and every area should be done properly. And finally, after the 36th day, spend nine days in revising. You know, take some topic tests, Revise the concepts, revise the formula. Make sure that whatever you've learned is committed to your memory. It's in your memory. Bhool nahi rahe ho. Solve some topic-wise tests. Take some time out to solve some tests in a timed manner. So, ye fundamentals ho gai bhi. Thik hai? What next after fundamentals? So, fundamentals ke baad, you, you need to solve questions. Basically, it will depend on how much practice you put in. Now, this is another area where students of, uh, you know, students who do not have a background in maths, they basically falter. They do not realize that maths is something which you need to do every day. Even if somebody like me who has been teaching maths for a long time, agar main bhi ek do saal maths ke question nahi karunga, to mujhe bhi pick up karna padega kahin se. Aisa nahi hai ki main abhi jo meri proficiency hai, usi proficiency pe rahunga. So, please note down one thing that you need to solve a certain number of questions of maths every single day. So, how can you do that? Number one, you can solve questions which you found tough from the basic sheets. Second, you can solve topic wise questions in the form of topic wise tests because only when you take the tests in a timed fashion will you recognize that whether you are able to solve a certain number of questions in a given time frame. So, you can solve topic tests, you can also solve, after you have solved topic wise tests, you should also solve section tests. The second thing you need to know is, you know, solve old CAD questions. At least 
for every topic for the last 15 years you should try to solve old cat questions this will give you an idea this will tell you at what level you need to prepare i know for sure that every year cat will ask you around 15 odd percent 15 to 20 percent of questions of cat are really very simple you just need to know the basics and you need to have some imagination thoda sa logic and you're done with those 15 20 percent of questions i see them every year year after year and then revise 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 ideally if i were you i would get to some number 25 30 15 20 arrive at some number solve those many questions every single day till cat every single day you can solve cat questions again and again again and again again and again till you develop the necessary speed to help you solve an adequate number of questions for a 95th percentile very necessary very very necessary for you so that's your step two what next Step 3 is all about section tests. Now, I would not say topic tests much, but definitely section tests. Take topic tests again for topics which you are weak, still weak, or you are not able to handle even the basic questions. But go for section tests and go for mock tests. This is a phase of experimentation. Experiment as much as you want to. What kind of experiments? See what strategies work for you. You know, I'm going to do a different session for how many different strategies you can have for writing the CAT exam. So, experiment with yourself. Dekho, kya karne se aapka score badta hai? You know, do you have the best score when you solve question by question? Or do you have the best score when you allow some time limits for each and every set of questions? Say, out of 30 questions, the first 10 questions you allow yourself 10 minutes. The next 10 questions you allow yourself the next 10 minutes and so on. So, there are different ways of approaching mathematics. Then, another thing that you have to keep in mind in, in terms of strategy is how many questions you can take a risk. So, if you are attempting 20 questions or if you attempt 20 questions and if you are sure to get 17 of them right, should you mark the other 3 despite the fact that you think it may not be right? So, check out what strategy works works for you that should be the next and the last step in scoring a cat 95th percentile in quantitative aptitude at least so i'm sure if you take these three steps you will be successful provided you remember those three things build the right habits build the right habits means cat will reward you if you are regular CAT will reward you if you are consistent. So, if you decide to solve 20 or 25 questions, CAT is going to reward you if and only if you keep solving them, keep solving them without fail every single day. Be ruthless with yourself. There will be days when you are down. There will be days when you actually have work. There will be days when you have to sacrifice. Be ruthless. अपने आप पे किसी तरह की दया माया मत दिखाओ जहां पे आपने अपने किसी चीज को नहीं करने का रीजन ढूंढा यू आर स्टार्टिंग टू वॉक टुवर्ड्स फेलियर द मोमेंट यू फाइंड एन एक्सक्यूज फॉर नॉट डूइंग समथिंग दैट एक्सक्यूज कुड बी एनीथिंग यू नो एग्जाम है मिड टर्म है दैट एक्सक्यूज कुड बी एब्सोल्युटली एनीथिंग सो इफ यू ट्राई टू गिव एन एक्सक्यूज इफ यू ट्राई टू जस्टिफाई एनीथिंग व्हिच यू डू रॉन्ग you have started to walk towards a failure. Trust me on this. So, kisi tarah ki daya ya maya nahi dikhani hai khud pe. Aur action pe zyada time spend karo, overthink mat karo, result ki chinta mat karo. You know, aur mein koi gita vita ka gyan nahi de raho. I am telling you, if you start worrying about the result, it will start playing on your mind. Now, I am giving you a very simple reason for not thinking about the result. Take action. Agar aapka score kam aata hai, so, you know, revise your strategy and take another action. But keep doing it, keep revising it, keep doing, keep doing, keep taking action. And you will see that suddenly you are scoring those 8-10 questions correct. For example, if you are not scoring more than 3-4 to four questions correct in quantitative aptitude, 
I would say start with a target of getting five of them correct. Then increase it to eight. Then increase it to ten. And then keep on increasing till you have time left to increase. So, it's an easy cheese karni hai. So, implementation is going to be the key. I feel, I always feel if, you know, where do people falter? They falter at the stage of implementation. Planning sabki perfect hoti hai. Next. So, I guess, mujhe jo cat quant ke baare mein bolna tha, wo mein bol chuka. अगर आपको कुछ फ्री रिसोर्सेज चाहिए तो मैं फिर यू नो आई वुड लाइक टू रिमाइंड यू वी हैव लाइव सेशंस एवरी फ्राइडे एंड एवरी सैटरडे एट 6:30 थर्टी पी एम प्लीज डू ज्वाइन दैन आर बैचेज आर स्टार्टिंग एवरी वीक एवरी 15 डेज प्लीज इंक्वायर फॉर बैचेज और फॉर एनी इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑन आर कोर्सेज ऑन दिस नंबर नाइन एंड विद दिस वी कम टू एन एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन आई होप यू बेनिफिट फ्रॉम दिस सेशन If you have any suggestions or feedback, please write them in the comments box. You know, I'll be very happy. And if I find some of your comments or your suggestions worthy of, you know, being implemented, I will surely implement and acknowledge your contribution to the community. Thank you.